Good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, Chichester Marina. Um, we're uh, Black Rock Yachting, and we thought we'd just bring you a quick tour of this lovely Jano Mary Fisher 1095 fly. Uh, this particular one is is a very high spec um, example. Um, some of the the options uh, to mention include the upgraded blue legend hull. Um, as you can see, we've got carpet down, the upgraded upholstery. Um, and lots of other nice little features um, that we thought we would show you. Um, first of all, we'll start here in the in the cockpit. Um, so a very good cockpit space here. Um, as you can see, she's so new that all of the cushions are still wrapped up in their in their plastic, ready for her lucky new owner. Um, but a very spacious cockpit here. You've got a nice table here. You've got another one that inserts as well to create a big dining area. Um, and once you've got the um, tables out of the way you can infill this area if you want to and create a bit of a sun pad um, as well um, she does also come with sun pads on the front um, sun deck as well obviously not out today given it's a slightly gray but probably a bit more stereotypical english boating day but that's one of the reasons why we wanted to show you this particular model um, because that is why one of the reasons why the mary fisher is so popular here in the uk because you've got this lovely open saloon area. You're not tucked away down in the boat. You've got great windows, great visibility, um, and your main living accommodation is, is up on this level. So here we are on the uh, flybridge of the Mary Fisher 1095 fly. Um, as you can see, a, a lovely area um, on a nice day, obviously. Um, we've got seating for four. Um, you've got a sun pad there at the back, but you can also flip up that backrest there. And as I say, you get four people quite comfortably around this table. Um, to my right, we've also got the designated helm area. So you've got a single helm seat there. Um, and then you've got all of the functionality of the downstairs uh, helm, which we will look at shortly. Um, so you've got control of your bow thruster, the automatic zip weight trim tabs on this, um, on this boat. Um, we've got the autopilot function and then obviously throttles and our plotter here. So a, a, a lovely area, as I say, on a nice day to, uh, to enjoy your, your boating from. And, and then once you're at anchor, you've got a nice comfortable seating area for, for four people. Um, but we'll, we'll go down below now and, and show you the inside of the boat. As we step inside the, the boat, um, as I mentioned earlier, in the main kind of living space, your saloon here, um, what you'll, you'll see is that it's a great area to entertain um, and relax whilst you're, you're enjoying your weekend or your, your time on board the boat. Um, as I say, not the nicest of days down here in, in Chichester, but probably more stereotypical of, of English weather and, and how you're going to be most of the time experiencing your, your boating. And, and one of the reasons why the Mary Fishers are so popular because of this lovely living space. Um, You've got, as we pan over to the, the galley here, you've got a twin gas hob underneath there. The sink is underneath this one in there. We'll put that back nicely. Um, we've also got the upgraded uh, galley cupboards in here. So we've got two up there. We've got another one over on the side of the saloon. So that's another optional extra can't have enough storage on board boats um, as we pan back round to to the galley we've got a fridge in here some more storage space as well underneath the galley we've then got another storage space which is being used for the bin at the moment and then another handy cupboard underneath the one of the saloon seats here so all space has been optimized We've also got a big hatch. You'll notice the slight cutout in the carpet there. That's because underneath here, you can lift that carpet up and you've got another massive big storage space in there. So not only have we got three cabins, but that locker there doesn't compromise one of the cabins. So lots of space that's being used on, on board the boat. Um, one of the other nice features that we've, we've got on this boat is that we've got the upgraded leatherette upholstery. So the standard is a bit more of the cloth material. Um, however, personally, I, I really like this leatherette. It just brings the, 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 the quality and the finish of the, the boat up a, up a notch um, and, and, and really set, sets it out. Um, 
We've also got the same in the helm seat here. So that's upgraded from the standard as well. And again, just in keeping with the, the, the high quality um, and finish of, the, of, of this boat. As you've, as you've already seen, we've got the carpet as well laid down. As I say, this is all completely removable. So if you've got kids on board or lots of people walking in and out the boat, um, you can take that off, roll it up in one of the cabins or take it off the boat completely and leave it at home so that it doesn't get, doesn't get damaged or any serious marks on it. Um, as we come forward to the, uh, to the helm here, um, you can see that we've got the upgraded uh, Garmin navigation pack. It's a 12 inch plotter here. As you can see, we're an inch inch at the moment. Um, we've then got our Yamaha, Yamaha instrument gauge, autopilot, and then bow thruster here, and zip weight trim tabs. So these again are, uh, are an optional extra above and above the, uh, the, the, the manual Lenko trim tabs. Um, the engines on this boat, uh, we fit with, with Yamaha Twin 300s. Um, the nice thing again about this boat is that we've opted for the, the S steer by wire pre-rig from the factory. So that means that you can equip a joystick if you really want to. Um, the important thing to note is I suppose your more traditional boat buyer and, and, and user may not want to use the joystick. They're quite happy with the twin throttles and the bow thruster. But it means that when it comes to a real resale value, um, if someone's the buy, buying the boat after, after the first owner, they can fit the joystick themselves. Whereas if you opt for the, the drive-by-wire pre-wig, it means that a joystick can't be, can't be optioned. So that's quite a big feature, um, certainly for a new buyer or from a resale value because the joystick option can be added later on down the line. What we'll also do is we'll go down and have a look at the accommodation in a minute. But another thing to note here um, at the helm is this side door. So that's a very nice feature because you can completely open this up. As we will do now, you just undo the locks here. And unlock it. And that completely transforms potentially how you can use the boat because she is 11 meters but you can quite comfortably, single-handed or with another, another person at crew, handle the boat in and out of marinas and onto berths. You've also got a side cleat there as well, which will help aiding navigating your way around the, around the boat. But as I say, we'll go down to the accommodation now and check out the three cabins, which in its class is the only boat of this length with three cabins. So let's go and have a look. So as we come down, into the, the sort of walkway area here. We'll take a look into the forward cabin first. So a really, really nice forward cabin. This is the master on the boat, but really, really nicely finished. You've got big hull windows here, which we've got some other boats out here on the hard at the moment on our sales area, so you can't quite get the full effect, but you can just imagine being at bay on a nice day, you could stay overnight or, or being in the marina and just seeing the clear water there through the through those big windows lots of natural light coming in through those and through the skylights up here nice big double bed this does also pull pull out so you can pull it along and you can infill if you want a slightly longer bed so it she comes out another sort of 60 centimeters or so and you've got a piece of infill so you can lengthen that bed if you want it but again just really nicely finished in here You've got the leather sort of headboard around the bed, the textured finish there with the mirror and lots of lighting in here as well. So really, really nicely finished. She's also got the additional storage up above the bed there. So extra storage um, in, this, in this boat. And then you've got another big wardrobe there as well for, for storage. The bed also lifts up. So you've got some extra storage underneath the bed as well. Um, if we're coming back now into the boat, you've got a, this is kind of described as the third cabin on the, on the 1095. So slightly smaller than the second cabin, but still a very good size. I've got a few cushions and things in there at the moment, but still a double. Um, again, on this boat, in this cupboard here, there is an optional extra to have a, another fridge, which we've got on this boat. 
So a very, very high spec boat, this one. And that's a nice option to have if you've got family on board, you know, you need lots of fridge space. Um, as we come back as again, this is kind of classed as the second cabin. So a slightly, slightly a bit bigger than the one we've just seen. But and then again, another very nice cabin, very nicely finished with all the LED strip lighting. Um, perfect for um, for kids or if you've got another couple of friends staying staying aboard. Um, as we walk forward, you'll see that there's lots of natural light coming down in this area. We then go into the heads here. Um, one head boat on this this boat um, so serves all three cabins but still a very good size um, nonetheless and it has a separate shower um, as well so you've got a separate shower in there and a heads thank you for uh, watching this uh, walk around tour of our uh, Mary Fisher 1095 fly um, as I say she is pretty much ready to go for the upcoming season uh, all we would need to do is, is fit the engines um and and then any other ad additional options that the um the lucky new owner might have as i say she's a very highly spec boat so i think probably the only thing personally if it was me that i would want fitted is is webasto diesel heating um apart from that as you've seen she's very nicely spec she's all ready to go um we've got the canvas there for the canvas package out the back so that just needs to be fitted and then as i say She's pretty much got every optional extra um, that you can have um, on this model from, from the factory. Um, so please do give us a call. Um, it's 01243 550042 um, if you'd like to uh, have a chat about the boat or come and view it. Um, and we look forward to showing you her soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.